Hey, hey, hey! Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets and it's the end of August, you guys. Um, I'm not quite sure how that happened. I'm not quite sure how we got here, but it is the end of August, which means we will be doing an end of month totals video today. Um, I am going to do a condensing at the same time. I just thought it seemed silly to make you sit through two videos where I'm just going through all of my envelopes. Um, so we're going to do it is a little mashup. Hopefully that doesn't mean this video will go too long. Um, I am contending with some variable light today because the sun was out and beautiful before, but it has snuck behind a cloud now. I'm hoping we'll still be okay uh, without turning my lights on, but we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, today we'll, we'll condense the binders, tally up the binders, and also do our debt review for the end of the month. I am expecting that we probably haven't made any progress this month. Um, you know, hopefully we didn't go backwards, but probably we did because I'm also going to unstuff some things at the start of this video. It seems silly. Like I know I need to unstuff them. They're still part of August's budget. Um, so I want to unstuff a few things before we condense and tally up the binders, just so that I'm getting the most accurate picture of how we've gone this month. But we have obviously had some pretty big expenses this month so we will see i also just want to um preface this i suppose um with a little thing this is purely out of interest right like what's in my binders how i'm tracking here it's just a point of interest it's not actually an accurate reflection of um our cash net worth or well to be fair it is a fairly accurate reflection of our cash net worth um, so where we stand in terms of our sinking funds versus our credit card debt, it's certainly not a good reflection of our net worth because it doesn't take into consideration our superannuation, um, or anything else like that. So that's always worth keeping in mind. Like if I was doing this for the purposes of just seeing how our net worth is improving, I wouldn't include categories that are frequent use categories. So like our bills binder, I wouldn't include it. I know that's not money that we're holding on to. I know it's going out the door. So it's not, um, in terms of quantifying how we're growing our money, that binder in particular is not all that helpful, not, nor is our car binder. Like it's all money that's intended to walk out the door. The only, really the only one in here that's helpful for viewing how we're improving our net wealth is, is my crystal binder because that's our emergency fund. Obviously that's money we intend on holding on to uh, unless we absolutely can't. <laughs> Um, and I also just wanted to say, uh, please don't get disheartened. Please don't get disheartened by, um, the comparison is the thief of all joy. Um, that is something, like, it's just something that I think is really, really important to remember is that everybody's circumstances are different. Um, you know, some, some people are in a position where they can literally add thousands to their net position in a single month. That, that is not the average person's experience, I wouldn't imagine. And I just don't want anyone to think that it's not worth pursuing because you can't add those kind of numbers. Um, it is absolutely, and there's absolutely no shade on those people who are able to do that. More power to them. I think it's honestly incredible. I very much enjoy watching them. Um, and I'm, it's awesome for them that they're in that position. But I just don't, I wouldn't want anyone to feel like um, this isn't worthwhile doing if you don't have, you know, $100 a week to put into savings challenges or even if you don't have enough each week to fill all of the sinking funds that you need to fill. It is still worthwhile starting. It is still worthwhile doing. You will still make progress. It's all about baby steps. It's all about getting in the right direction to move away from paycheck to paycheck. I just wouldn't want anyone watching any of the end of month tally videos and just seeing these just absolutely unbelievable outcomes, especially this month, because a lot of people getting tax returns and things like that and just thinking it's not worth it um, because I can't achieve that. I may as well just keep doing what I'm doing. It is definitely still worth it. It is definitely still worth it. Um, to help you break out of a paycheck to paycheck cycle, or if that if that's what you're in, or just to help you 
generally feel more comfortable with your ability to pay your bills on time and you know save money to pay for that six month recharge instead of a monthly phone recharge or that 12 month insurance instead of paying it monthly to save that extra money it is all worthwhile any step forward that you make even if you are improving your net worth by just a dollar a day or even if it's just you know five or ten dollars a month that is still worth it. That is still progress that is worthwhile and should be celebrated. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that because I just, sometimes I watch these things and I think, wow, geez, like that is, um, like I don't have a hope of that. I also want to say money isn't everything. It's truly not. Like I know that sounds funny from someone who's on a budgeting channel, who's, you know, main focus is trying to improve their financial situation. It's just not though. Um, I have been like, you know, in my previous life, um, I was a, a high net worth individual, like, and I was miserable. I was miserable. I could go out and buy whatever I wanted. I could get my nails done every week if I wanted to. I would go and spend hundreds of dollars getting my hair done every, you know, four to six weeks. Um, all of these things. I had all of the bells and whistles, all of the fancy stuff, and um, I was miserable. And I'm in a position now where I can't do all of those things because our current financial circumstances don't allow for it. But I am an incredibly happy person uh, in, spite, in spite of like health difficulties and things like that. Like, yes, money makes your life easier, but no money is not the be all and end all. Um, it's just not relationships, contentment in yourself, or, like all of these things are more important than your bank balance. Um, okay. So now that I've waffled on for far too long, I will get into what I'm actually here for today. I just, yeah, I just don't want any, I, I would just hate for anyone to, um, oh, I don't know, feel badly because they can't achieve that kind of progress. And I can understand how easily that would happen. Like an older version of me would definitely have had that experience. Um, so yeah, anyway, Moving right along. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, we're going to unstuff some things. So I'll just pop these off to the side for a minute. So we are going to unstuff, and this should certainly help us with some cash condensing. We are going to unstuff all of car insurance. So there's 200, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 9. 50, 9, 60, 9, 70, 9, 80, 9, 90, 1, 000, 1, 000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 1,050, which should be enough to cover our car insurance bill, which I am going to pay probably today because um, it is due. That is all going back to bank and I don't want it included in this month's uh, tally because... It doesn't belong here. It would have been unstuffed tomorrow, um, but obviously I'm doing this today. So uh, let's just get all of this, whoops. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess of this, you guys. Let's just get all this in here because that'll be helpful for unstuffing too. Um, the other one that's being unstuffed is doctors. Um, you guys, am I like, <laughs> my bad week because oh no my printer died uh turned into a much worse week because my poor poor youngest daughter has a double ear infection both eardrums perforated i just mm, i feel so sorry for my, she's just such a little sweetheart and it's just so brutal she keeps getting so sick i think it's like all of the lockdown she didn't really have she's never she was never a childcare kid she missed out on most of kinder um because of you know global issues um and so all of these illnesses are catching up with her you know over the last three years she's had so many ear infections but they feel like she's too old for grommets so you know had all of this happened when she was in kinder she would have gone in for grommets and things but um yeah that's not what happened so anyway but she yeah this just seems to happen where she's hardly sick like she had a bit of a runny nose bit of a cough no complaints of pain and then suddenly she'll wake up in the middle of the night just absolutely howling and feeling like she needs to be sick because obviously it's her ears it makes her feel nauseous too um and then we'll wake up and like yeah realize that her eardrums are perforated it's just it's just horrible it's just so horrible so we've had very uh 
very, very long few nights in our household. I'm hoping she's getting a bit better today. She's sitting in with her dad at the moment while I do this. So, and then I'll be going back out for more cuddles, which means I'll be working overtime on the weekend to catch up on orders because, um, yeah, I have not got as much done as I might have liked. Uh, so we're taking 90 out of here. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which leaves us with 300 in here. It is amazing how quickly this category gets drained when things go wrong. Um, but... A, a lot of a lot of doctors surgeries in um australia don't charge a fee they only they only bulk bill which means you're not out of pocket anything for children under 16. unfortunately our medical professional is not one of those she is an excellent doctor it's an excellent doctor's surgery but they do charge out the wazoo um so yeah i'm i was $40 out of pocket for her appointment so i pay 80 i get 40 dollars back from our medicare uh, and then forty dollars out of pocket, so that was that. And then the other fifty is because um, I saw the physiotherapist again. Uh, and then just twenty dollars is coming out of school expenses um, for a little excursion that I have to pay for my littlest lady. Um, the poor sausage has missed out yesterday on um, the Father's Day stall as well, so she didn't get to get her dad anything, which she was really sad about. Um, but we'll have to we'll have to go to the shops, I think. Uh, how am I going to do this? Because we need this. Let me just make sure this is all kind of. I got rid of my dice tower so that I would have a bit more space. So I think this will be fine. Okay, so let's get into it. Sorry, guys. I feel like I've done nothing but blab at the start of this video. Whoops. Let's get into it. So we've got two hundred and twenty, forty, fifty-five in here. Oh my goodness, that was terrible writing. Uh, so we'll take out the 50, put in a 50, and then that is all good. I'm hoping I have enough placeholders. I will just see how we go. So water has 120, 40, 60, 80, 220. So we'll leave 20 in there. And we will put in a 200, take this one out. Beautiful. So 220 still in water. I have to try and remember to actually put the totals in the back of these binders this time too. Electricity has 200, 450, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. Uh, sorry, 510, isn't it? Yeah, 510. <laughs> 530, uh, 550, 560. Why was that so hard? Okay, so let's see how we can do this. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, 110, 130. What, did I not count that right? Hold on. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 170, 180. No, so there must be 580 in there and I am losing my mind. So 20, 40, 60, 81 and 50, right. That makes more sense. So we'll put in, uh, we'll put in a 500 actually is what we will do. And then we can take those out. Okay, so that should still be, whoops, all good. So 580 in there. Beautiful. I just got our bill for that, which will just, is due next month and it's for 570 so that's brilliant uh ten dollars in gas now phones has 200 300 in the bank 20 40 60 80 400 10 20 30 40 50 60 so 460 in total uh, which means 20 40 60 81 Let's put that back and get another 200. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we'll leave a 10. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of 50s, but we'll do our best. Beautiful, whoops. You get back in there. Okay, home has just 20, so we will just pop those in there and pop a 20 in. Secure 
Security has 50, 60, 70, 80. Wow, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So we will just, I might just get a nicer 20. We'll just change those over. Not much we can do with that. Oops. Garden. This will probably go out this weekend. It has 115. Um, we need to go and get a whipper snipper because our lawn's starting to get a bit out of control. <laughs> Cleaning has nothing. Appliances still just has 15. I'm really sorry if that's annoying that the light keeps going in and out, you guys. Uh, buffer has 20, 30, 45, so there's not much we can do with that. We will just condense that down a tiny bit. All right, so let's see, and I will leave this here so that I try to remember uh, what we've got in here. Oops. I didn't write that down. 45. Wow, so we actually managed to increase in here even though we took that massive gas bill out. Uh, so that's nice. We like that. Uh, so for August, 1,800. I should have said, said at the start, like, go grab yourselves a coffee. Oh, I have to remember to do this this time. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take this out and pop it on top over here so that I don't forget because I forgot last month. I have not done that. All right, so onto the car binder. Insurance has nothing, but at least it'll be paid. Registration has 125, nothing we can do in there. Oops. Service has 110, 20, 35. So we'll just swap those over. So 135 tires has 20, 35. So we will just, very nice new fives. We will just swap that over. License now has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. So we'll leave those two there. Which one of you is the wrong way? That one. Nope. And that one. <laughs> and that one. Oh dear. You guys, I'm not I'm not good at that. <laughs> Okay, so we'll swap that over for a hundred. So 130, I still need to color in those ones that I topped up from Monday Minis. Okay, and the, whoops, that does not want to go in straight. The, oh my goodness, the rest of these are empty. So let's have a look. 425. No, was that right? I think so. So that one obviously took a big hit, but again, we've paid insurance and we've paid rego. So is what it is. All right, clothing just has a lonely 10. Now. Shoes has 120, so we'll just get a nicer 20. Hair has 25, not much we can do with that. My son is so overdue for a haircut, but he hates it. He hates, skincare's just got 15. Hates having his hair cut. He doesn't like it when the hairdressers talk to him. <laughs> 30 in gifts. Um, so <laughs> he also has a really hard time choosing what kind of hairstyle he wants. Still 15 in work expenses. 
that one's empty. That one's empty. Mojo should have 500 now. So we've got 200, 400, 450, 470, 484, 90, 500. Wow. Mental blank. Now I hope, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to put a 500 in there. I'm just going to put a fully funded, let a fully funded slip. So then I know that that is where we want it to be for now. And I will take that and clean it off too. Okay, so let's see how we're going. Can you guys even see everything that I'm doing? Oh yeah, I think so, okay. So, there's 715 in there, so that's a small improvement. Any improvement is better than no improvement. All right, ugh, medical. This is gonna have taken a hit, right? So there's 300 in doctors. Medications just has five. Ambulance has 10, 15, 20. So let's change that out. Okay. I'm so torn to you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to think about budget planners for, I mean, the rest of this year, but also next year. Uh, so 200, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320 in here. So let's leave that. And we'll put this in here. And we'll put that back and grab one of those. Beautiful. Um, the she budget planners, oh, the covers she has revealed so far are beautiful. Uh, still 50 and specialists. Optical has 35. They're just stunning. Um, but then yesterday, <laughs> uh, this has 50, 60, 70, 85 in there. Can't do anything with that. Uh, I was watching Mama with a Budget. And still 10 in orthodontic. And oh, I love it. She uses an Erin Condren. Oh, I didn't put July in here yet. Whoops. Um, and oh, she, do, she does like sticker kits for them. Oh, you guys are so pretty. They're so, so pretty. Okay, so 300, 520. Um, so yeah, now I'm really, really undecided because also. Um, someone had asked me if I could do a planner, um, which I'm not uninterested in, in, like I am trying, uh, I'm just a little bit low on time at the moment, unfortunately. Um, so I don't know. I don't know you guys. It's so hard. It's so hard to choose. Okay. So last month was 915 and this month is. 775. That actually hasn't gone back as much as I thought it might have, so that's pretty good. Not mad about it. All right, now school. Let's see. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, I am going to very optimistically change that out for a $100 prop note and just hope that it stays in there for a while. You know, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so 100 in there. Uniform has 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we'll leave that there and grab, whoops, get in there. Grab a 50. That's a good amount in there. We get the school bonus next month too. So it's $400 per child. That's an initiative from the Victorian state government um, to go towards school fees, uniforms, uh, and all that jazz. So that will be very, very welcome in our household. Uh, it's 50, 60, 70 in swimming. 
Um, yeah, it'll be really good to be able to use that for some things. Uh, books has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105. That is getting there. Not nearly fast enough, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're going to need a lot more than that come the end of the year. Uh, photos. I've not been writing these down. Freya, you are Adele. This is what. This is why I don't usually do condensing with um, 105. Swimming had... Uh, how much did Swimming have? 17. Tennis had 50. Uniform. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Uniform had 150. Still 170. Goodness me. Yeah, my brain just gets into a rhythm and then I forget that I'm supposed to be doing both. Okay, so school tech has 500, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, $900. Yay. So let's put all of this back. Oh, well, maybe I will be all right for 50s. Because then we can do another one of these, which is five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. It's going to be sad to part with that money towards the end of the year. School holidays has 65, so we'll just give that. Ooh, that's a dodgy 10. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be spent sooner than later. All right, let's see how we're going in here. So 1,485. Very happy to have seen this one increase a little bit. 1,485. And yeah, that money coming in. So it's $400 per child. So for us, it'll be $1,200, which is just huge. Just huge. And, and will be so helpful. Will be so, so helpful. I'm not sure if you, you like... Yeah, I'm not sure how they, it kind of sounds like my older daughters and my sons, like the high school, are going to send it to you directly, like send you the cash and you can just choose what to do with it. My daughter's school, it sounds like they are going to hold on to the cash and you kind of direct them as to what you want to use it for. Like I think they'll just put it as a credit on our school account, which isn't very helpful, like in terms of being able to use it for uniforms and things because like the uniform shop for my daughter's school is not attached to the school. It's completely separate. So um, yeah, I don't quite understand how that's going to work. Uh, the principal of that school does have some serious control issues. So it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> okay, 240 into that, which is good. Puppleman still just has five. I really need to add to that. Dog treatment has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we may as well get some 20s in there. Nice. Shame it wasn't at 100 yet, but never mind. Uh, that has zero, zero, and zero. Okay, so let's see how we're going in here. 240, 235. Sorry, you guys, my brain's a little bit all over the place because I'm so, um, I'm so sleep deprived. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of doing for um, budget planners. If you do a budget planner, if you have a budget planner, uh, 20 in family fun. Uh, for next year, I'm really keen to know. Um, she Budgets has done a gingham cover again, which is going to be very, very hard not to. But then the other ones she's done are stunning too. Um, the ones that she's released so far. I think there's a few more coming. Okay, everything else in here is empty. So just 20. Goodness. No time for fun at the moment, hey. We can thank car insurance for that, really, can't we? <laughs> okay, so Father's Day had 45, now has 20, 40, 50, 65. I think I will just leave that in cash, to be honest, because we'll probably use it and I might just take the cash on the weekend. 
Um, okay, and then Halloween. 10, 15, 20. I have to ask my kids actually if it's worthwhile to continue saving for Halloween or not really. Um, I'm hoping they'll just choose to do something pretty. $10 in Valentine's Day. Oh, maybe I'll get a nicer one. Um, I'm hoping they'll just do something pretty um, just cheap and fun with their friends sort of thing. Um, Easter now has 10 as well. And Mother's Day just has five. Now Christmas, we've got, let's do this. We've got 150 plus 150 plus 150 plus 10, because we took 40 out of there. And I just realized I don't actually think I have my Christmas binder in here. One moment, please. Okay, so uh, we have 10 in there and 20 in there. Wait, was that that one? Yes. And 20 in here. And 10 in that one. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. So 520 in Christmas because we did, we did already, um, we did already spend that little bit for the Christmas Eve boxes with those squishy toys that I got. So we've got 65 in Father's Day and then, so 630. We'll throw that in now. Beautiful. Oh, I should maybe have unstuffed my son's birthday too. Mm, although I suppose technically I probably won't spend it until next month. Maybe I'll leave it. I will change all of it out though. So 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh, so we'll pop, whoops, we'll pop that one back, grab another 100, so he's got 300 in there, but not for long. I think I'm going to save a little bit more for their birthdays next year. Uh, so my daughter has 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 165. So we'll leave those there, put this 50 back and add a 50, so 165 in there still. Um, 50, 60 and 70 in my youngest, so I'll we'll swap that for a 50. 70. Could not for the life of me remember what I had just counted then. Uh, 30 in here for hubby. So we will swap that over. Awesome. Uh, 30 in here for me. Keep that one. I'm kind of sad to see that five go. I'm sure it'll come back around there. I don't usually take that one back to the bank. <laughs> I just like it, you know. Uh, anniversary, still just got 10. Okay, nothing else in here has anything. I'm hoping to change that soon. I really want to start funding those categories, but we'll just have to see how we go. Um, Okay, so 615, and I put it away. Silly sausage. Oh, and I haven't done July for this either, so that was 525. Oops, 525, and now it is 615. 
All right, you guys, we're nearly there. Now, I did decide that I'm not going to count all of my savings challenges anymore. Uh, I did used to. I never count many Mondays. Um, but I think I'm just going to count full house just purely because it was such a big chunk of last month and it's going to really skew my numbers if I don't count it. I'm going to count Scally Lovers because that's going to be a long-term savings challenge and roll it up because same and obviously the crystal bind out is a... It's essentially a sinking fund disguised as a challenge <laughs> sort of thing. Um, so I'm not going to count any of these ones. I am just going to count this one. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 20, 325. Is that right? I think so. Uh, 3, 2, 326 technically. Gosh, we've added a lot to that this month. I cannot wait to unstuff that. That is going to be so much fun. Yeah, so these other ones you will see either once they're like in rotation in the binders or in the crystal binder or paying off debt. Uh, so 10, 15, 17 in Scally Lovers. And roll it up. Has 20, 40, 60, 60 70. Wow, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78 in there. Uh, and I think I will condense this for now. Uh, hang on, what are you doing, lady? Calm down. Did I say 75? I did, didn't I? I said 50, 60, 75, 78. Yay! And then I have already added up the crystal binder so that you guys didn't have to sit there and watch me take forever doing that. So let's just see. 1,161. Huh, that's a, that's a decent step up even though I'm not counting all of them. Although I don't think there's all that much. How come I have a different amount here? Oh, cause I've removed them from the total, that's why. Um, Oh, that's why. Oh, so it still is an increase though. Okay. So let's now, uh, shall we count up everything we're sending back to the bank and then we'll put our totals over. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we have 100. Another 100, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60. These all the right way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 610, 20, 30, and 40. Wow, this is a lot of money to take back. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. Uh, so 160. So one thousand five hundred and sixty dollars altogether going back to bank. Um, so that is a combination of that big chunk of car insurance. Indeed, most of this is that big chunk of car insurance. Let's be honest. Um, but either way, it is still oh, our money's so pretty, isn't it? We're so lucky. So lucky. All right. So now that we have done that, we might just leave that sitting. Is it gonna fit? Oh. Ooh. kind of sort of not really <laughs> we might just leave that there and then 
let's get on to uh, putting some numbers into here. Although, should we do that first? Should we do that first, you guys? Um, nah, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this first. Okay, so our binder totals in our home binder, we had 1800. In our car binder, we have 425. Life binder, 715. Medical binder, 775. Kids binder, 1485. Pets binder, 335. Fun binder, 20. Events binder. Our big ones binder is not there anymore. Uh, events binder 630, birthdays binder 615, and savings challenges 1100. Oh, what did I do then? My goodness. 1161. So, let's see. So, we've gone up 40 here. Uh, 795 or 25 we went down 370 in the car binder which isn't bad when you consider we actually pulled more than a thousand dollars out of it um, we've gone up 75 in our life binder Uh, down, oops, down 140. Now health binder up 125 in that one. Up 55 in pets. Down 35 in our fun binder. No change there. Uh, up 60 dollars here. Up ninety dollars here. Up three eighty five there. Although that number's not quite accurate, but never mind. All right, let's see how we've gone in total, you guys. Holy moly. You guys. Now I wish I had have counted all of the savings challenges. Because <laughs> that total is actually, this is wrong. Um, but that total includes that amount at the 1,000 and what was it? Let's have a quick look. Mm, 1070. I wish I had included all the savings challenges because then we still would have been up and that is phenomenal because oh my goodness apparently there's a massive fire in the apartment building across the road from us. <laughs> Give me a second you guys. Okay I think that has stopped now. One can't be sure. Um, so nine dollars is the difference you guys. Um, I was expecting that to be several hundred dollars the other way because we paid oh my goodness i hope that's not really too annoying for you guys because apparently it's not going to stop um we paid our rego we paid our massive gas bill we've taken out money for our insurance car insurance so there's some huge bills in there and we've managed to stay about the same which i am absolutely stoked with i'm not gonna lie that is awesome um yeah so good. Okay, so let's see where we're standing with our debt this month. I don't think that we've made any great strides. In fact, I know we haven't. Um, so the MasterCard at the start of the month was 8065 It has no interest. We paid 165 so it is now at the very nice round number of $7,900, um, which is 2% of the value. And our Visa card started at 13725 We paid $167 in interest. Yuck. We made $298 in payments. 
and we are now at 13,594. So the difference is 131. So isn't that disgusting? We paid off 298. It's only made a difference of 131. Ugh. Gross. Um, so 21,790 at the start of the month. 167 in interest. 463 in payments. We are now 21,494. What's really exciting, guys, is that we will be under 21,000 uh, by the end of next month if if i can get the debt binder finished then we'll be well and truly under twenty one thousand. that is so cool i'll be really really thrilled if we can get that done uh so 296 and that is 1.4 percent um i'm not going to do this bottom because i will do it on this sheet here um but uh so our total debt uh, went down by or improved by 296 and our binders improved <laughs> went backwards not improved by nine dollars so our overall position is that we improved this month by 287 dollars which like i'll take it you guys <laughs> i'll take it i'm not mad at it um, okay, so current balance is zero. Difference is obviously the whole amount. So this is our overall debt from, from the start of when we started our debt-free journey. That's obviously 100% of that one. Current balance of this one is 7,900, which is a difference of 850 or 9.7%. This one is sitting at 13,594, which is a difference of 681 or 4.7%. And overall, our current balance is $21,494, which is a difference of $2,756 or 11.3%. Um, so, you know, look, it's not where I wanted to be. Um, I was hoping that... Um, I was hoping this month that we would be snowballing the payment from the ATO, which was $245 a month and so nothing to sneeze at. Um, I was hoping we would be snowballing that onto our visa card. Unfortunately, because of the change in child support, um, that's not going to happen. We're just not going to like, yeah, we won't be able to do that. So what we're going to be relying on is basically my Etsy income to be able to smash this debt down as quickly as we want to. Having said that, I'm not actually sure that we will pay this down when my, like, I think my initial goal was April next year or May next year. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether or not that's going to happen, mostly because the fundamental lesson that I have learned on this journey is that just smashing cash off of debt, generally speaking, does not work um, because it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable to, because you're not putting money away for those unexpected expenses that got you into debt in the first place. So I think what's more important for me at this point in time is to make sure we have that emergency fund, which is why we're not doing just bulk payments off of debt. It is why that full house challenge, likely none of it will go to debt until our emergency fund is up over kind of $1,500, $2,000. And then I kind of want to split half and half. So extra payment, extra savings we've got, half of it will go to our emergency fund, half of it will go to debt. Keeping in mind that we are fully funding all of our sinking funds each month um, as much as we can first. Like I, that's the priority to make sure that we can cover our costs so that we can get out of debt and stay out of debt. There's no point lumping cash onto our credit card if it's not sustainable. You know, if we pay off 500 this month, but then next month we have to spend you know, four, five, six hundred dollars on school uniform or clothing or school camp or whatever that we haven't put money aside for, then we're not actually making progress. It's just going to be a zigzag. Um, so yeah, I suppose that's just, it just comes with the journey of learning how this all works and how to all, how to function with it and putting aside what feels like a massive achievement, which is getting rid of the debt. Um, for what is actually a bigger achievement, which is a complete and utter change in behavior, um, basically. Uh, yeah, 
So thank you for coming for my TED talk today. I know that I waffled on a lot both just now and at the start. <laughs> Probably hasn't been one of my more fun videos. However, um, if you are interested in me talking more about how I started this budgeting method, what I think is the best way to start this budgeting method, for those of you who are watching who haven't actually started, or for those of you who are just starting and working out that you know what, when you start this, there are lots of bumps in the road. Um, it can be really confusing. There is almost always things that you haven't thought of. Maybe you've given yourself too many categories. Maybe you don't have enough. Um, if you're interested in a video where I go kind of go through that sort of thing, please let me know because it's definitely something that I can do. I will keep working on, I don't know, either a planner or just digital pages that'll be available on my Etsy store, like the debt review, like this kind of debt review page, this kind of end of month thing. This is a little bit difficult to customize with people, obviously, because I don't know what everyone's binders are. So it would just be blank spaces. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want in a, let me know what you want in a planner. Let me know what you're interested in. Um, cause it's always intriguing. I think, I feel like everyone is after something different and that's why there's never one planner that suits everybody. And we kind of use planners that exist in the world and bend and flex them to how, how we want them to be. Um, I'm trying to come up with a way that I can make it flexible enough that, uh, people can kind of customize it. So if you want expense trackers, you can have them. If you don't want them, you don't need them. Cause if you don't need expense trackers, that adds a lot of bulk to a budget planner um that's not necessary uh so yeah yeah anyway any feedback i would be absolutely open to either down below or dm me on instagram or message me on etsy whatever you like i am going to wrap it up here and go now because i have a lot of christmas and crystal binders to finish making um and also i have a little girl who is probably in desperate need of some mummy cuddles by now so i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend i hope you enjoyed today's video feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already um i think we're one off of 600 as i I'm recording this which is just so unbelievably exciting um and I will see you tomorrow for the weeks I mean there won't be any cash on stuffing I wouldn't imagine because I've done that today but weekly budget weekly check-in um and yeah that's all I'll see you then okay love you guys bye-bye